Hello Scion owners everywhere. I know a lot of you are still waiting on the first season of your Scion TV videos and I will deliver on that. I have a ton of projects in play and content to generate, but for now there have been requests to put together an information video on how to adjust clutch pedal height and ways to make clutch engagement easier due to the fact that some aftermarket performance clutches have low engagement in relation to how far the pedal travels to the floor. It's always good to ensure that there is no air in the clutch line. Beyond that, this information may be helpful. And by the way, future content will be far more visually stimulating than this. Let's start by taking a few moments to thoroughly go over a page from the Scion service manual on how to properly adjust clutch pedal height. Here you will see behind the pedal tension spring is a 12 millimeter jam nut that connects the clutch pedal to the clutch master cylinder. It's a tight area, but after you move the spring out of your way, simply loosen the nut and turn the clutch master cylinder push rod clockwise or counterclockwise until you achieve the proper amount of free play in the pedal before pushback from the clutch is felt based on the desired height of the clutch pedal. When complete, simply tighten the 12 millimeter jam nut. If you are already satisfied with the position of your clutch pedal, but still find it difficult to achieve smooth engagement or disengagement of your clutch, you might try making use of a slightly longer clutch slave cylinder push rod. Some aftermarket OEM replacement clutch slave cylinders already come with a longer push rod. So if you feel your slave cylinder is failing, simply replace it. Another option, is to spend somewhere in the ballpark of about $20 from a vendor that sells longer push rods. Now, if you're looking to do things the do-it-yourself way, you can go to your nearest hardware store, get a nice long grade eight or higher hardened bolt, and make sure it's M8 as well. Cut off the threads using a grinder and also cut off the head. Make sure it's about the proper length, somewhere around between 1 8 to 1 quarter inch longer than stock. Round off the ends and lubricate it well. Then simply slide it right back in place where the old push rod used to be. Now the clutch slave cylinder is ready for reinstallation. You'll experience a more defined feel with the clutch engagement and disengagement with less pedal travel. I hope you found this information useful. Please like and share and definitely stay tuned for much more content in the future with all things Scion.